Hey guys, me like Big Boom here, and welcome to Unturned 3.18.6.0. This week's update actually came out on a Wednesday, two days earlier than updates normally come out, but I believe this is because we actually didn't end up getting an update last Friday, so, you know, kind of normalizing things out a little bit. In regards to this week's update, it's actually super cool. So, the problem at hand was really in regards to brand new players coming into Unturned, it is a little difficult to figure out how to actually get into a game. I mean, single player, this is relatively self-explanatory. You press single player, you get in here, you choose a map, you go. It's as simple as it can be. But in regards to multiplayer, you have to go through this server screen, and this is where it gets a little confusing for people with all these filters and all this refreshing stuff. It is a little confusing, understandably so, and this week's update is aimed at improving that by adding both the matchmaking and the lobby system. Both of these awesome stuff. Now, the matchmaking system here is super simple. You choose Choose what mode you want to play on. I'm assuming if you're first starting off, you probably want to play on easy. Uh, and then you just pick a map and you click search. And it will start searching for servers. It will find the best match based on ping and based by players. So it will try to find a server with around 12 to 20 players on it and a ping less than 100. If it can find that, it will pop it up there. It will give you two options, one to join it directly or two to, uh, to view the details screen. That is super simple. Also, in the options back here, you have the options of including all the maps in the matchmaking screen. With this disabled, it will only show the main map maps like PI, Washington, Yukon, Hawaii, those kind of things. By clicking this, it will also show the arena map. So be sure to click that and restart your game. Uh, this is also to change the parameters with uh, matchmaking. If you're having trouble finding a server, consider lowering this down to like four, uh, and then that will hopefully allow you to find a server quicker. Uh, but regardless, that is the matchmaking system. Super simple. It basically just finds a server for you. It's it's awesome. And then also, playing with friends has been made a lot easier. Previously, you had to go on the server screen and you had to communicate with your friends saying, hey, let's go play on this vanilla unturned PvP server. And then they're like, which one? And it's like, yeah, the one with eight players and exchange IPs and stuff. No, 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 complicated. All right, now we have the lobby system. This is kind of also working as expected. Once you click the lobby button, it will create a lobby and from here, you can invite friends. So in this case, I'm gonna invite my friend Josiah or Quasis Red. be sure to subscribe to his YouTube channel. And then from here, as you can see, he has joined my lobby and then now when I escape, uh, I can join a server however I please. I can click matchmaking here or I can join the server browser or whatever. Uh, when I inevitably find a server, let's say this one, it will take every single person that was in your lobby and instantaneously load them into the server at the same time. And not only that, it will also automatically put all of you guys in the same group. So as you can see here, when I press M, you will notice that there is a new button here called groups. And when I click it, Josiah and I are in the same group. It's called Me Like Big Booms group. I'll go ahead and change the name here and click rename. And uh, all this stuff is here. It's awesome. Uh, now, I mean, you, you can't see him, but uh, we're in the same group. If I try to punch each other or whatever, it won't do any damage. I can also see the name above them. Uh, it's a way of playing with each other and having the group system together without actually having to leave the game and then set your primary group, and it, it, that's just a pain in the butt. This makes things a lot easier. But anyway, that is a lobbies and matchmaking system. As I said earlier, super simple. It's going to make it a lot easier for new players to unturn, and that is always awesome. Now, also, the lobbies and matchmaking system isn't the only thing that was added in this week's update. There is also a new crate that drops now. It's been a while since we've had a new crate. This is the April 2017 workshop crate number two. This is the second workshop crate that we've gotten thus far. Here is what it looks like. It looks just like the previous one except as a number two on it. Here are all the skins inside this crate. Lots of cool stuff. Uh, personally, I'm gonna have to be going for this elemental Zubaktikov that does look pretty sweet. Uh, but I'd be, I'd be totally fine with the steampunk Hell's Fury. That would be awesome. But well, anyway, let's see what we can get. And I, it's doubtful that I'll be able to get that considering that they're purples. I'll probably get something like a blue. Oh, I thought for a second there was gonna be mythical, but as it turns out, it's the Lunar Cargo Yuri. Ooh, wait, I might have to inspect this. Lunar Cargo, there you go. Very cool. Trucking ammunition between galaxies necessitates a powerful ship. 
awesome. Yeah, it's totally uh, designed as there's the cockpit and everything. Super cool stuff. Anyway, that's just one of the skins in there. You get dropped the crate and you can purchase a key or you can just sell the crate when you are dropped it. Uh, whatever works, that's the new crate. Additionally, there were two new outfits added to the game. Both of them are super cool. One of them is the skater outfit. This is honestly my favorite. It comes with a skater top, which is a hoodie. Uh, this actually just looks super cool in itself. Like, look at me. I'm totally like a stylish person with these uh, with this hoodie here and it's got the hoodie strings. Honestly, just using the skater top and then the designer bottoms, this is going to be my outfit, I think. Uh, this is totally going to be my character's outfit, but regardless, you can put on the cargo pants or whatever with the knee pads and things, uh, and then a beanie, and then this is also super cool. A, uh, a uh, skateboard on your back. Super, super cool stuff. This is on the stockpile, I think, for $2, I think, or $2.99. Additionally, there was the night outfit. This is also super cool. It's a very detailed version of a night outfit. It comes with shoulders and the cape and everything. Just look at this. This is so beefy. It's crazy. It's so awesome. I love it. I love it. It's a bit too flashy for my taste, and I prefer to look more like a like an actual civilian, so I am actually going to go back and put the skater top here, and I think skateboard. I might put the skateboard, actually, and I'll remove the shoulder pads. I mean, I don't actually skate in real life, so maybe I should take it off. But regardless, I think that's going to be my character there. Uh, those are the two new outfits that were added in the stockpile, so uh, I'll have the link to those in the description down below. But with that, that was everything that was added in Unturned 3.18.6.0. As I said earlier, lots of cool stuff in this week's update. If you have any thoughts on the new lobbies and matchmaking system, be sure to comment them down below. But anyway, that's everything that was added. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that to brush because me like big boom is out.